We're talking about empowerment. Empowerment, empowerment, empowerment. This word, it has been used severally. And um, we want, we know that when we talk about being empowered, we're talking about somebody being uh, independent. It could be maybe through a knowledge or some sort of job or vocation. But how about empowering the youth of this nation? Many are already good at what they do, but they have no means of turning it into a means to change their fortunes. This morning we'll be talking about music as a tool of empowerment for Nigerian youth. My guest is in the studio. You know that, as usual, I like to bring their his, um, picture frame before I unveil my guest. Stay tuned and watch his picture frame. Welcome back. Music is an integral part of Nigerian culture. Today, Nigerian youth, a lot of them are embracing music. Is it making their future or is it something that is going to mar their future as we see today? Discussing with me in the studio is um, a banker, yes, an economist, and is also a lecturer. Now, I, a gospel <laughs> musician, his name is Austin Adigwe. Did I get that? Uh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Thank you. Good morning. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks I, for having me. I, I, you know, I, I had to, when I was given the introduction, I talked about um, youth. Every Almost, if you pick uh, ten, uh, 10 of our youth today, you find out that about seven of them are going into music now you as a person i realize that you are a banker you are an economist and to top it all you are a lecturer and still you do music i realize that today a lot of youth they abandon you know education for music why is this so okay you, you see music reinforces Okay, ideas, emotions, okay, true redeem, harmonies, and so on and so forth. Uh, we tend to focus so much on the end product of music because it's actually like a flowchart. Start from production, some are even videographers, before the end product that comes on your screen or you listen to um, on the radio. So there are certain aspects of this flow that requires some level of education. Mm. You just cannot skip it. For example, to be a keyboardist, mm -hmm. you should be able to read and write mm. before you can handle that instrument. And there are some other complex instruments also, okay, that people now have so much dependency on mm. for livelihood. Okay. Those ones require some level of education. So that's the science of music. Now, you also have this part that has to do with vocalization. Alright? Okay. Um, I'm created, I'm endowed, I can sing fluently, I can sing well, I'm creative, I can put together words, 
and it becomes an idea that I wish to promote. Okay, so if you are now looking at that aspect, that you can sing doesn't necessarily mean you must go to school anyway. Mm -hmm. So some make that mistake, believing that, well, I can sing, so I really don't, I need, need, I really don't need education. Okay. And some have also succeeded through that process. Mm. Okay, okay, let me let but, me let me let me cut your your thought a bit now. You talked about uh, uh, some musical instrument like the keyboard. Yeah. I know I have a little bit of knowledge about uh, music theory, and I know that yeah. I I can understand what you are talking about. Now, today you realize that we can make music even without without the instruments. Do you think that technology has added to, you know, what we have out there, making youth uh, abandon education for music. Well, yeah, I, I totally agree that um, digitally you can create sounds, okay, that will be acceptable. You see, the problem we have is bigger than what we are picturing in the music industry. There is total loss of value. Mm. We have missed it as a people, as a society. So the young ones are looking on to up to some stars in this music space. They see them, they flaunt their wealth, okay, mm. they travel all over the, the, the country and all over the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, so because we do not have value, somebody's not thinking of what I will do to add value to the society. You're just looking at okay, if I jump into one studio. I'm able to put together one beat, drop it, and God help me, people like it. I could actually, let me use the word, I could actually blow mm. and also begin mm. to make <laughs> money. So that's our thought process. Mm. And that's also, um, that can be traced mm. to the moral decadence mm. in the society. Mm. So the youths are only trying to survive. Mm. They're only trying to survive. Going to school shouldn't have been a kind of privilege. It should be something that is given. You are a Nigerian, you should be educated to a certain level, okay, that empowers you. That you should be able to stand, take decisions, you should be confident, be strategic about what you do. Okay, you talked about stars, I'll come back to that. But before we go on, I want our viewers to see some of your musical uh, work. So stay tuned and sit back, relax as we show you some of uh, uh, his work, the works he has done. Lord, you said, if I ask, I'll be given. Promise me when I seek, I'll find. Lord, I know that the doors be open. Yahweh, come and answer me today. No matter what I face, no matter what I see, no matter what the world may see. The troubles of life, the burden of sins, the struggle for survival. Yahweh, you will answer me today. Yahweh, you will answer me today. Hey, Yahweh, you will answer me today. Yahweh, you will answer me today. Yahweh, you will answer me today. Hey, Yahweh, 
beautiful. Honestly, I, I, I was saying off camera that I hope I hope he's not taking me into the spiritual realm. <laughs> that was really, really beautiful and inspirational song. Well done, well done. We just hope that our youth can begin to make more meaningful music. Yes, not necessarily Christian music, but but uh, uh, we're talking about meaningful music. That speaks to morals. Exactly. Now talking about meaningful music. You talked about stars, you know, because people will always have role model. People will always have people they look up to. You. Do you not think that the decadence we have today within the youth, do you not think that the ready-made stars are contributing to this factor? Well, you know... Uh... Because you see them, they go on social media, they make public a whole lot of things that, you know, about, you know, their wealth and all of all what not. Okay, you see, in, uh, music is part of entertainment, and mm. entertainment is showbiz. Mm. So, uh, I may not totally attribute okay. the moral decadence to the show-offs you have on social media, because okay. as a youth, you should be able to drive your own narrative. Good. That somebody has a G wagon, that somebody has a 2024 mm. model of a car does not mean you mm. must own it tomorrow. Remember, mm. that person that is showing off this wealth is also not showing you how he struggled from nothing. He rose through the ranks. Exactly. He cultivated. Now he's harvesting mm. and he's happy. Mm. So, but we just think that we can harvest before we cultivate. So that's the problem. So the stars, they've also work their toes. Let me. The, the fact is this, and maybe the reason why that is very prevalent on social media is I've come to realize that people don't help when their help, okay, is really needed. Mm -hmm. They want to give assistant help when such help becomes popular. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you find a star today when he was struggling for relevance, for visibility. Okay. He struggles through the streets. Those that could actually help, not necessarily money, but just to give connection, give networking. Exactly. They, and they will not be willing to do so. Mm -hmm. Then suddenly there is a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. There's a breakthrough. The same person you did not even want to have his or her music on your phone, you are now willing to go and give all the support that is needed. Meanwhile, at that point, he doesn't need that support anymore. Mm -hmm. so, so the stars, they have their own reasons why they also flaunt their wealth. But it is for those of us that are looking at what they are doing to understand that, yes, this is the time for their own harvest. Okay, because of our time, consider the fact that you, ha you are a professional in your, own, um, you know, in your own place and you still do music. Yeah. Talking about empowering the youth of today through music. Do you think music can really empower the youth? Music is doing that and will continue to do so. Quite a number of instrumentalists are engaged by churches. Some play in concerts and they get paid. Some yeah. are on monthly pay, some are on weekly pay. So if you, if you do um, useful and creative music, music, it empowers you financially. Mm. Okay? A lot of the youths too play for these stars. Mm. Okay, when they go out for events exactly. and they get paid mm. so it's a good source of empowering the youth okay. if it is well channeled uh, now i want to ask you a personal question now your journey into music yeah. and your educational journey which came first academics or music or they were simultaneously because i can see that you also play the instrument Okay, so um, I, had, I had passion for music, but I didn't go into music at this scale mm. at first. I just knew I needed to... I also have so much love for education. So I just knew I had to finish my education, be financially independent, ah, stable. now you are before, saying yeah, that. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, before going to... Because music is expensive. Let's, let's not... Uh, everything uh, yeah, yeah. there there seem to be no profession if you want to do it on your own that is not expensive exactly so if you must be successful in doing music you must be able to push your project or your vision mm. to a significant level 
that can actually attract others to come in and help. To produce music is money. To do your video is money. It's not cheap. So let me ask you, <laughs> now that you have arrived, is it paying the bills? Well, for me, my music is not, it's a way of giving back. I mm. call it a way of giving back. So I'm not focusing on the financial gains. Mm. If God blesses me financially through music, beautiful. But my target is to win souls for God because I was never supposed to be here. It was never written. It was not in the script. So, but with God Factor, I am where I am today. So I believe there are millions of Nigerians. There are millions of youths. that are also struggling, okay, even to find that, that substance that will give them the assurance that, yes, you can even see the four walls of a school. Mm. So what do they do? They give up. I just want you to know that I was once in that position. But you must keep asking and keep acting. Ask from God and act because you must play your own part. It's not enough to just tell God, please, I want to be a lawyer. And yeah. from one year to the other, you will not write jam. Mm -hmm. how, how then are you going to get into school mm -hmm. and um, actualize your dream? So um, focus on God, but play your own part. Um, follow your dreams and you get there. Okay, a, a little word, you've, uh, you've spoken to the youth of my youth today, a little word for the ready-made stars also, because I want to believe that they have a lot of role to play in all of this. Yes. Well, majority of them are doing um, wonderfully well, okay? If I may mention them, you saw what happened the last time Davido had his birthday. It was a selfless gift, okay? Mobilizing such huge amount of money, okay, and giving to the needy and quite a number of them also do so but you you can always do more do because more. we have quite a number of people that still need your help yes thank you very <laughs> much this morning we've been talking about empowering uh youth through uh music that's a uh, music as a tool of empowerment for the nigerian youth and he has said to every youth out there please do your part and to every ready-made star there, you can always do more. Thank yeah. you very much, Austin Ajibwe. It's my pleasure. All Thank right. You. Right now, we want to go on to the next segment of the show. Tolani is somewhere in the building. She's ready to give us lifestyle and nutrition. Please sit back and enjoy what Tolani has got for us today. Movie out there, and I would say you just have to go and uh, watch it. A good one coming from the federal government, huh? because our youth, I don't know what's happening this uh, in, in this world that we, we, we live in now. At times you tend to wonder if we as adults, we were not once youth. But then the, the, the federal government is taking the bull by the horn now. They are saying that uh, those in the entertainment industry, uh, the Nollywood industry, they should try as much as possible to avoid uh, content that promotes uh, money rituals or that has gotten anything to do with money rituals. Maybe that is what is affecting our youth. Well, we will keep doing all that is necessary. We will keep doing all that we have to do. And um, talking about doing all that we have to do to help the youth of Nigeria, it bounces back to your own contribution and my own contribution. When you see something that is wrong, do not just look away. Do the right thing. We were brought up in such a way that uh, when parents those days, they see what is wrong. No matter who's us is God, they bring you, they correct you, and they tell you that, yes, you have done this that is wrong. Let us begin to imbibe that culture again, whereby when you see a youth doing the wrong thing, please try to say something. When a youth is doing the wrong thing, say something. You could be helping the future of that youth. Today, I have been your host on the show. Till we come your way, same time, same station, on Money Ride. My name remains Yinka Kenny. See you, same time, same station, and same show. For now, it is bye-bye from me.
Mano, ya. 